Hello and welcome to Really Wellness. Um, I'm here today with Hello. Cynthia, who's the founder of the Real, Real Women Talk, an online community aimed at empowering women by providing us a space to voice our fears and traumas and find healing together. Um, Cynthia, I, I don't know if you want to start by telling us a little bit more about the Real Women Talk um, and how you focus on empowering yes. women. Yes, of course. Well, hi, my name is Cynthia and I'm the founder of The Real Woman Talk, which is a community platform based in Canada who focuses on empowering women uh, by sharing their stories about how they're overcoming or how they overcame their insecurities in order to, in order to help other women um, deal and fight through their insecurities to overcome them. The main focus of my platform is empowering women by sharing helpful resources and women's stories to let them let other women know that they're not alone. Um, and what inspired you to found the Real Women Talk? What inspired me to found the Real Women Talk is myself growing up. Uh, I had many insecurities, uh, mental and physical ones, especially body hair. And lots of time, um, I would try to hide it by wearing long sleeves or uh, pants. And with time, I started meeting new people who were more comfortable showing body parts that normally um, in our society, because of beauty standards, we would tend to hide. So it kind of inspired me to go out of my bubble and start realizing that I'm not alone. So that's why I thought because I'm not alone, I'm sure that many women are, are fighting with insecurities as well. And that is why we should talk about it on a platform where it's safe to talk about it uh, without being judged. Absolutely. I think that's so, so important. And, and I think, you know, your story really resonates with me because so many of us grow up with all these insecurities based on a variety of different factors, whether it's the media, whether it's kind of our upbringing, whatever. And we all think that we're kind of isolated in them. But the reality is exactly. a lot of women go through the same kind of worries and fears and experiences in life. And I think what I love about what you're doing is by opening up a space for us to talk about them, we equalize ourselves and, and we normalize these experiences so that we can feel better about them and more secure in us. Exactly, that's exactly the goal. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. And I wanted to ask you why you think that so many of us struggle um, to communicate those fears in our day to day lives and, and those insecurities. Um, I think that many of us struggle because uh, in our society, we grew up, most of us, uh, looking up to beauty standards. And nobody really explained to us growing up that these beauty standards are not reachable because most of the time they're modified or uh, it's not a true representation of what a normal body looks like. So I think that people are afraid of talking about it to others because they're afraid of being judged and it shouldn't be that way. That is why by creating the Real Woman Talk, uh, it helps people to really open up and normalize insecurities that normally feels like abnormal because we look up to these beauty standards and to not feel marginalized. And I think, you know, despite there having been quite a bit of progression in the world, you know, so many of us um, are still stuck in this this kind of bubble where, you know, we really believe those stories that we're told about what beauty is. Um, yes. And, you know, those idealized standards are not realistic for the large majority of people. And, and also, in my opinion, not re representative of, of true beauty because true beauty is, is unique and individual to each of us um, and not really based in, in kind of those, those purely sort of appearance focused um, like tropes that, that the media presents to us, I think. Um, exactly. And, and I wanted to ask, how do you think that that being able to communicate um, these fears and insecurities and, and share them with each other can really uh, help, our, help our well-being as women. I think that it can largely help uh, your mental health and your physical health. Um, by talking about it, you realize that 
when you're not the only one and you learn about other insecurities that you had no idea existed. So I think that it's important for everybody's education to really learn about everyone's, what, what they're dealing with, what, what's their emotions, like everything matters. And I think from a mental health perspective, um, you know, I feel that's, that's really, really true. I think, you know, it, it, what your platform does and what I love about it is, is it kind of serves two purposes. And, and the one is both to feel like we're empathized with, and also create empathy for other people. You know, there are things that you've spoken about um, on your platform that, you know, I had no idea other women felt. Exactly, you know, even for myself, I, I keep on learning. And, and it's incredible that, that you know, we, we're so uneducated about these things and we don't talk about these things in everyday life because I think a big part of being mentally healthy and feeling happy is feeling like you have a community. Um, and people around mm -hmm. you that support you. Um, and I exactly. wanted to ask you, as your community has grown, um, and as you've kind of opened up this space for women to talk, and you yourself have been more open, um, have you seen more benefits for yourself and others over time um, in terms of mental well-being? Yes. Uh, definitely. I've seen lots of benefits for myself because it helped me overcome so many insecurities. And by seeing how strong uh, the women come to me and share their journey, it's so inspiring. And the fact that they want to share it with other women, it just, it gives me hope. It gives me hope to continue fighting every day and to wake up and to find positivity even on my weakest days. Um, because I know that I'm not the only one. And for as for my followers, uh, many have come to me and told me that uh, seeing the stories of other women really helped them as well overcome insecurities. So I think that everybody's uh, winning when Absolutely. it comes to feeling better. And, you know, speaking, you know, purely for myself, I feel like finding your platform has really helped me with my own insecurities, like both communicating I'm, on it and also it's so true though like hearing other women like standing up and voicing these things is so powerful and so empowering um yes and and I wanted to ask you about that link between um kind of communication and, and empowerment why do you think that um being open about our insecurities and, and experiences in life that kind of have hurt us help us to feel more empowered in our lives uh, I think it truly helps us because, like I've said before, it helps us to see that we are not alone fighting and going through this. So what I wanted to say, yes, was that it's important for young girls growing up to see other women talking about their insecurities so they won't grow up with these insecurities like we did, for example, because we haven't been taught that this is not looking up to beauty standards are not a real representation of what beauty is, well, they're going to know it much younger. Uh, I think it's going to help them grow in a much healthier way, mentally and physically. And I don't know about you, but that was certainly something that was lacking in my childhood. And, and it affected me very deeply not having yes, those spaces. Me too. Um, and it's only really as, as an adult, kind of with more and more messaging, recently around body positivity and, and self-love and places like your community that I've I've yes. realized how normal a lot of these insecurities are and, and how empowering it is exactly. to work together. Um, yeah. Why do you think um, it's important that women specifically have these spaces versus them being open to, to kind of everyone? Because obviously your platform is very much aimed at women. Um, I think that it's really important for women to have these spaces because in our everyday society, uh, it's, there's not really place to this discussion. Like when we're at school, we don't really learn about how to deal with our insecurities. We're pretty much left alone with them and with many questionings that we have to face many things that are difficult and we shouldn't go through it alone. So by opening up the conversation about it and that it's accessible to many women safely and they're going to feel much better about themselves, much more confident. Yeah, and I think there's something very kind of special about women 
kind of coming together yeah. and uniting on these subjects. You know, I think so often in society, our voices on these things are lost and there's kind of a lack of understanding. But when we speak together, yes. we realize kind of how strong we are um, and how much we exactly. have. Exactly. Um, I wanted to ask you in relation to kind of people overcoming their insecure, or women specifically overcoming their insecurities, um, their fears, what are some key steps you think we, we can all take to, to overcome those and, and make peace with them? Well, uh, there's four steps. Uh, the first one would be to actually face your insecurities, admit that they're a part of who you are and that you cannot change them. Um, the second one would be talking about it. It's so important to communicate your feelings to your close ones, your friends, and that's how you learn, that's how you evolve, I think. Um, it's really important. And thirdly, uh, you should read about it and follow inspiring people, uh, especially women empowerment. Uh, when it comes to insecurities, there's a lot, a lot of accounts, a lot of books. Um, I think that it can truly motivate someone to feel better about themselves. And fourth one is to really educate yourself. Um, what we see on social media is a distorted um, reality and it's not real life so maybe cutting off on only following um, models and more on following inspiring accounts that shows you the reality whether it's about uh, acne body hair stretch marks uh, that way you can relate more to them absolutely and, and I think what's interesting about social media is um, that you know, even more so than, than often, you know, magazines and, and media, um, it provides a really kind of highly edited, really unhealthy version of what womanhood looks like. Yes. Um, and, you know, even kind of as, as an adult, so certainly when I was a kid, social media wasn't around, but, but as an adult, um, or, Instagram, for example, wasn't around. Yeah. Um, as, as an adult, you know, even I find it very kind of uh, disheartening, I think, sometimes to look at those images. Very. I can't imagine what it would be like for kind of a younger girl, but if we can provide young women with those kind of resources exactly. um, and that education, it's, it's really important, I think. Um, it's why yeah. I love what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you. I love what you're doing too as well when it comes to wellness so important kind of on those resources on those people to follow versus kind of the usual fitness models and, and models and that sort of thing yeah are there any resources that that you really love um that have inspired you and are helpful to you kind of in your own life and you you want to recommend to others yes definitely there's a lot lots of um empowering women accounts on instagram that i follow uh first of all your blog really wellness <laughs> I absolutely love it, really. <laughs> it's so inspiring. And I think that really working on everyday bad habits can make you your mental health and physical health much better, especially when it comes to personal pleasure or sleeping or running, like the topics that you're currently talking about. I think it's really <laughs> <laughs> um, also, I follow feminists that you probably follow as well, uh, which shares empowering content of women all around the world. And it talks about uh, really large amounts of subjects, uh, body hair, stretch marks, acne, skin color, which is really important. Um, also, there is a, um, an account of a coach named Georgina Cox, um, something I I don't have it right now with me but I follow her and she's so inspiring um, she posts a lot of body positivity pictures and um, empowers women to really uh, difference themselves from beauty standards by showing us reality for example a before and after or, or Instagram vs reality amazing thank you so so much for joining us thank today. you so much it's um, really an honor it's an honor for me to have you on um and and i wanted to know um well i wanted uh 
to, to give you the opportunity, if people want to, to follow you or find you online, where, where can they do so? Yes, uh, well, you can find me on my blog, Instagram account at The Real Woman Talk, or you can even email me at The Real Woman Talk blog at gmail.com. Thank you so, so much. <laughs>